One ThinkPad T60. One Linux-based system called Q4OS. I did a full install. Let's take a look. All right, my friends, welcome back. What I did, I had an old uh, ThinkPad T60 that had Windows XP. It has only two gigs of RAM. I was curious about Q4OS, something lightweight based on Debian Stable. I thought it would be fast. It is fast. So what I did, I, I did a couple of recordings. I, I took a couple of screenshots, uh, just a short, a couple of short recordings. Why don't we take a look and see what we have? So we'll go with two parts. The first part is the default look, default look for Q4 OS. So let's get a pop-up VLC here. Now, when you first install the system, I did have to install Simple Screen Recorder, but this is what it looks like after doing the full install. And as you can see, it's if the goal of the makers of this was to make you feel comfortable coming from a Windows environment, uh, I think they did a great job. It's it's definitely Windows-ish. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, the one thing about the T60, it doesn't have a wide screen. That's why you have this uh, box look, this 4x3 look. But it did install. Fine, I had no wishes installing this uh, whatsoever. Now you do have two options to install. You, you can install the Trinity desktop or the uh, Plasma desktop. I installed the default desktop. All right, so let's take a look now at my customizations for Q4 OS. As you can see here, I move things around. I changed uh, some of the colors. I believe this color is, uh, I, I believe it's peach. So when you first install this, uh, it gives you a very nice welcome screen. Q4 OS is installed as a very basic and clean desktop environment with the minimal software kit. And as you can see here with this welcome screen, uh, very, very user friendly, a bunch of options here, such as installing proprietary codecs, switch to the kickoff start menu, install applications, and so on. Very, very user friendly, especially if you are new to all of this. Uh, I like to use the mouse a lot, so you can right-click, right-click on a desktop, and make the appropriate changes. Of course, the time and calendar there at the top. I did install Simple Screen Recorder, no problem whatsoever. You can configure the panels. This is a TDE panel, Trinity Desktop Environment panel. Uh, basic stuff. There's really nothing here that's confusing uh, for a newbie to something like this. I must say that I, I like the peach color look for whatever reason. I guess because I like peaches. Okay, my internet connections. Let's take a look at the mixer. This is the K-Mix. Output, input, switches again. Pretty basic stuff here. Again, very minimalistic, very lightweight. If you're looking for something that has a lot of eye candy, it looks very snazzy. This is probably not it. Of course, it wasn't made for it. Uh, I have to enable the internet. That's why I was not able to go to the website, by the way. So let's take a look here and see what we have. These are the default, some of the default uh, shortcuts here on the desktop. The Synaptic Package Manager installed by default. One of the best. It is my favorite uh, package manager. Not necessarily for beginners. It's not that difficult to learn. Uh, perhaps installing, uh, like if this would have came with the Software Center, might be easier uh, for beginners but I use the synaptic package manager to install my apps and I've been using this well it's about it's been about 14 years now VLC probably the premier media player for Linux uh, and Windows I use this quite a bit I think in Windows this is all that I use is VLC all right so the start menu there a search tab there at the top Simple screen recorder I installed. The Gwen View image viewer. Again, this is made to somewhat mimic the Windows uh, desktop environment. As you see here. The background, not a lot of backgrounds installed, but again, you can add your own pictures to it. I see there's an option there for a slideshow and so on. Again, basic stuff, very easy to use, very minimalistic, very fast, lightweight, and that's exactly what this was uh, designed for. And there's a Windows-ish background there. So, so we go back to the look and feel in the settings, the colors here. 
Lots of choices here. Looks like I picked something called Media Peach. It looks like, yep. Lots of different choices here, but yeah, just because it's lightweight does not mean you can't customize this easily. All right, so let's move on here. Let's go back to the start menu there. And let's uh, let's take a look at the applications there. We got programs by categories, accessories, edutainment, mathematics, science, LibreOffice Suite is installed by default. The back button there. Multimedia, audio player Amarok, Clementine, and uh, Amarok uh, has been a staple of the KDE desktop environment for quite a few years. It's okay. I I prefer Rhythmbox or uh, what's the other one that's lightweight or uh, Audacious. But this is Amarok here. If you wanted to uh, try this, it's okay. It's just not one I would choose. Docking in the system tray. By the way, I did no editing when I recorded this, so so this is like what you see is what you get. Uh, I didn't notice any crashes, anything, any glitches, anything unusual. Quite stable. This is based off of what Debian, I believe it's Debian 10 Buster off the stable branch, hence it's going to be very stable. I think for a newbie this would be quite easy to navigate uh, through. So if you are coming, if you've never used Linux before, I think they've designed this to make you feel comfortable. Now keep in mind that obviously Windows is not Linux. Uh, some applications are the same such as Firefox and VLC. And you can uh, switch to uh, switch start menus to classic bourbon. <laughs> yes, I'll take one or the kickoff. So here we have the classic style uh, menu as you see here. Again, just a few options. You know, when I see these different uh, menu options, I think of the menu switcher for uh, um, uh, for a Kubuntu. I had to think for a second. Don't they have uh, three or four different options? Of course, Ubuntu Mate, I can uh, change the panel and the menu also through the Mate Tweak tool and the pulse audio volume control installed by default very good I think the pulse audio volume control should be standard it just works so good so yeah something like this if you are looking for uh, you know something to revive an old ThinkPad or whatever you have you want something super lightweight fast just install it no fuss no mess, stable, you just want it to work. This is something that you may want to uh, look into. Here is the look switcher here. <laughs> On the top I see debonair by the way. You so debonair. Slide, spring, wine classic and yeah that's definitely too much windows this year there there's debonair debonair actually looks uh, pretty good there on the preview. Let's apply that theme. Of course I had to uh, log out uh, which I did not do during the uh, recording. But we are coming up to the end of this. L let me show you a uh, screenshot. I won't show you any more of this. Let me go ahead and get out of this. And I want to show you the screenshot on how I finally customize my desktop. And that's what I did. Changed the color. Uh, downloaded a different wallpaper. I have all my shortcuts uh, horizontally starting at the top and I've been running this for a few days uh, it's not that difficult to learn Debian you know base system or Debian itself not generally for newbies but it's not that difficult to learn I installed this mainly out of curiosity uh, it is faster I had a, what did I have in that ThinkPad Linux Smith Mate originally uh, there's nothing wrong with Linux Mint Mate. I installed this. It is a little bit faster. Uh, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit snazzier looks, different look, a modern looking desktop, 
probably stick with Linux Mint. But if you don't care, such as I do, I don't really care. I just wanted something that looks that runs faster, simple. And this is a laptop I really don't use that much. Occasionally in the garage, the laptop has uh, stereo speakers, and I'll stream music or whatever, and I'll use that in the garage. Um, that's it, guys. That's my quick look at Q4OS, the default TDE, the Trinity desktop environment. Uh, let me know what you guys think if you install it or if you have any more questions if you want me to take a more in-depth look at this just post it in the comments below but yeah this is something that I think I've mentioned once I did a short video on it's not really mentioned a lot but that's the beauty of Linux uh, lots and lots of choices out there both stable and unstable uh, I prefer the stable ones for all the Windows users out there so take a look at Q4 OS Again, I install it on a ThinkPad. ThinkPads and Linux, so far, to me, are a perfect marriage.